So Jurassic World is the fourth installment in the Jurassic Park franchise and now it's with Chris Pratt, an entirely new cast and it's set like 30 or 20 years after the original uh, Jurassic Park and now the vision has come true and now we officially have the park or in this movie that they call it Jurassic World, which that's okay too. And with this entirely new cast, I thought they were pretty cartoonish. I don't know, everything just felt like it wasn't taken very seriously, everything could have been a little bit more serious and dramatic. There weren't those tense moments in this film that made me just sweaty in my seat like the first one did. Like, you do have some intense scenes with that new dinosaur that I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. The Indominus Rex. The Indominus Rex. I just remember that name now. But the Indominus Rex was very intimidating. I liked the dinosaur because he was very smart, agile. He was incredibly smart and intimidating. Intimidating again. But look, what I'm trying to say is that he was very convincing and very sort of a threat. And I loved how the detail of, oh yeah, the consumers want more and so the demand the demand is increasing, so now we gotta kind of increase spectacle, and now we gotta make everything more bigger and larger than life. And I, I'm not sure if that was the director's intent or the writer's intent to kind of splat that into people's face, like, yeah, this is what you guys look like. The, the consumers want more, and that's why we're giving you all this stupid crap. The first act of the movie brought back memories of amusement parks, and this, uh, like, you believe Jurassic World is could be a thing in the real world if they brought dinosaurs back. Like, everything was just so well thought out. The petting zoo and the show with the shark and everything else um, was just, it was very creative and inventive, and I really loved how everything was very set up in the actual park or the world. Some of the CGI isn't the greatest, but the Indominus Rex, for the most part, does look the best. When I think of the best thing, though, I'm self-contradicting myself right now, um, the best thing was this dinosaur laying on the floor. It just, it looked real. I'm not sure if it was CGI or a uh, practical effect, um, but either way, it was just, it, it looked incredibly real when Chris Pratt and Bryce L. Howard were petting this thing on the ground. It just looked so real, and I loved it. Now let's get to my many negatives about this movie. My One of my main negatives of this movie was the soundtrack and how it was used. I mean, you get that amazing score from the originals, and then they used it like, to show the park. I mean, oh God. I, I mean, it, at least it wasn't dubstep for the most part. But um, it just it wasn't used in the right place in the right form. I wish it would have been used to show some dinosaurs, bring that nostalgia back, bring that memories back, and also bring something new to the table, like the Indominus Rex. But use the uh, orchestra correctly. <laughs> like I mentioned in the beginning of this review, a lot of the characters were very cartoonish, very non-realistic. I, I didn't believe any of them were pretty real. I mean. Now that I think about it, Chris Pratt's character, um, I'm, I have no problem with Chris Pratt being Indiana Jones from now on. He was very cartoonish, I mean, he was a very playful person, very charismatic, but, um, uh, compared to everybody else, everybody else was, um, okay. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, why was she in heels though? Everybody's pointing that out, and I thought this wasn't nothing disturbing during the movie, but it ended up disturbing me and interrupting, just taking me out of the scene and being like, she did that entire movie in high heels just really didn't sell the believability at, at all and i know i know this movie should some belief should be suspended from the equation but that last scene with the two dinosaurs i just felt just such a disattachment because up until everything a lot of the characters were very flat and i didn't really resonate with any of them because a lot of them were very stale and they really didn't have enough time to um build their characters up. They really didn't have a lot of, you know, character. They didn't feel like real people and they just felt flat. They were just really boring to watch. And that's why that last scene with the two dinosaurs just kind of like duking it out. I started to feel like I was in the movie theater with a bunch of people across from me and then the screen. I didn't feel like this was an experience. But truth be told, I did have fun with the movie. Luckily, I, I, I honestly, the only reason why I wanted to go to this movie was to have fun, not to critically analyze the crap out of it. Uh, I would recommend seeing it if you guys like these big Hollywood action movies. I just, if I had seen or known what this movie was going to be like beforehand, I probably wouldn't have watched it uh, for sure. But I did have fun with the movie and I'm pretty sure whoever is remaining who hasn't seen this movie will have fun too watching the movie but i'm giving jurassic world a taco bell so that was my review you guys um i'm sorry if i sound kind of monotone and kind of boring i just didn't want to make this be like this big very charismatic thing 
not that kind of person. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that review and definitely let me know what you guys thought about the movie in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully it won't be too long. And yeah.